Hey guys, hope you're having an enjoyable day so far. And uh, I just wanted to shoot a quick video that's all about working on our balance. So we're gonna start down at the feet and uh, get the feet a little bit loose and then work a little bit of core and then work into some balancing poses. And this is great for any multi-directional sports, helps strengthen around the ankles, uh, the calves and the knee joints um, just to help you out. Uh, stabilizing those areas so when you're moving out on the field that uh, you'll be less likely to have an injury but it's also great for anybody that wants to help improve their balance and their core and to support themselves even as they're moving through life okay so what you'll need is a couple of blocks you may need a blanket just in case the feet could be a little sensitive and a good attitude let's hit the mat okay so let's start simply in a seated position uh, you may want to sit on a block or a blanket to elevate your hips up off the ground. And I want you to do something that we all should do a little bit more often. And uh, I'm going to mirror you guys. So what I want you to do is to keep the uh, your your left leg down, and you can either keep the knee bent, or if it feels better to you know tuck under the leg if you'd like to, you can definitely do that, or extend your leg out. But I want you to grab your right leg and grab the right foot. And then just pick up at the foot on either side of the foot and then just begin to massage your foot all right just get in there with the thumbs and really dig in or you can even do your knuckles too and just really get into the foot separate that plantar fascia maybe even stretch out the toes a little bit wiggle them around a little bit give a little mobility to those areas Even spreading the skin with the fingers going right down the middle, pulling towards the outside or pulling laterally. Good. And then you can support yourself. You do a couple movements with the ankle, a couple circles, little dorsiflexion, plantar flexion. Okay. Good. And then switch, chain sides. And this is something that you know we don't do that often. We're always on our feet. Think about, you know, when you're if you're involved in sport, how much you're just running, and pounding them, or you know, if you're at work, say you're standing a lot, and you're on your feet, or you're walking up and you're walking down, and then you go home, right? And you gotta walk the dog, like my wife and I just got a new puppy. So exciting, Yona. She's awesome. Old Scouts really good too, though. And make sure you're getting into the foot here. And, and pay attention to how one side feels versus the other. And there's differences normally in both sides. All right, good. Okay, we'll release. Just notice how the feet feel now, just from a little bit of love. And then we're gonna sit up onto the feet, we're gonna tuck the toes under. This is where blocks and actually a blanket can come in handy too. I'll do side profile. But what we're, what we're working on is to tuck under all of the toes, okay? And we'd like to see if we can eventually just sit the sit bones onto the heels, zip up the core, keep length in the spine, and hold here. This could be pretty intense for some of us. So you actually may need to sit on a block. You can put it right between the feet. Or maybe you'll have to sit up on a couple of blocks. You can even sit it up or put the block up a little bit higher. So you can sit on the block, it's a little more supported. You want to press back to the heels. This may not work at all. You may have to actually lengthen up through your spine, toes tucked under. And if you need to, you can always put that blanket underneath the knees or even underneath the feet if you need that, okay? So make your way to that position. Try and tuck all your toes under, you're pressing back to the heels, you're zipping up your core. Notice if you're leaning forward, right? You definitely want to make an adjustment. Maybe you need to lift up a little higher to take some of that pressure off, all right? You don't want to go past your threshold. When you're ready then, you'll slowly flatten the toes. Sit back, just take a moment. Notice how it feels. If you're cramping up, you know, you may have to massage into the feet a little bit more, okay? Do it again, all right? So come on up, tuck under the toes, sit on back, hang out.
Breathe too, right? That can help to ease the mind, ease the tension that's going on, especially in the feet. Try and calm yourself down. Last breath. And release. Nice. Sit just for a moment in a hero's pose. Feeling the effects of the massage, but also the toe tuck under technique. Good. Then we're going to work onto our back to do some core work. Okay? So I've set up another mat here, uh, going the opposite direction than one of the mats, so I can do more of the side profile for you guys. So you'll definitely want the block here. And for some of us, you may actually want to even put the blanket under the head, all right? But we're going to go ahead, we're going to lay down. We want our block to go right between our thighs, okay? And do the skinny side of the block facing up, all right? So that's between the thighs. Then I want you to grip your mat and tuck under the cute bone and press your lower back mm, right down into the mat, okay? Roll the shoulder blades down too. Open up your pecs. Notice if your head's going way back, okay? A lot of times it's because you're so tight in your pecs. Then put a blanket under your head. Support yourself. Keep pressing lower back down. And I want you to lift your feet up off the ground. Inhale. As we exhale, extend the legs straight up, okay? Squeeze that block between your thighs. Keep trying to pull the mat out from underneath you. Keep your lower back down. Shoulders down, inhale, lower the legs down, but don't touch the ground. And then exhale, legs up. Strong exhalation, let's repeat. Inhale down, exhale, up. Repeat, down, up, keep it going. Again, again. Again, keep that lower back down, shoulders down, again, this time lower the legs, let the legs hover, squeeze the block, point the toes, tuck the chin, lift the arms, hover, roll the thighs in, breathe, good, and release, relax the legs, stretch the arms overhead, Stretch the toes. Good. Legs back in. Let's use that block still between the thighs. Legs back up. This time, imagine that there's a rope coming down right between your feet, okay? We're gonna lift up, lift the shoulder blades off the ground, reach the arms up with your right hand, grab the rope, then switch with the left hand. Right, left, keep going. Pull yourself up and keep the lower back pressing down. Lower back stays down. You're breathing. You're working. Keep pulling yourself up. Good. Now. Take both sets of fingers, reach them for the toes, shoulders off the ground. Beautiful. Lower the legs, hover the arms, hold. And release. Stretch. Good. Okay, hug the knees in for a sec. Feet down, lock back between the thighs, arms alongside your body, tuck under the pubic bone, inhale, exhale, come up into bridge, lift the pelvis, thigh bones up, open the psoas, arms pressing down, thighs roll in, 
Chest is going towards the chin. Deep breath in, and then slowly release. Keep the block close by, okay? Hug the knees in. Hands back to the thighs, sweep up, okay? We're gonna work our way into a dolphin plank now. This is where you need both blocks. So put one block at the front of the mat, the other block is going between your thighs again. And they're gonna bend at the elbows, extend the fingers forward, squeeze the block with the hands here and the fingers, but take the top edge of your fingers past the top of the block. Thumbs point up towards the ceiling. Look at your elbows, keep them in at shoulders width apart. And everyone for a moment, shrug your shoulders towards your ears. Remind the body not to do that. Actively press the shoulder blades down and then separate the shoulder blades. Feel the belly, press towards the spine. Walk your knees back. And then lift the knees off the ground. Thigh bones lift for the ceiling. We're engaging the core. Front side of the body is pressing towards the back side. We're breathing. Squeeze the blocks. Don't let the elbows go out to the side. Don't let your belly drop towards the ground. Keep pressing it towards the back of the body. Breathe. Last breath. And now slowly drop the knees. Pelvis down. Lift the heart up. Press the forearms down. Do the collarbone smile. And then press the back of the head towards the back of the room. So we're not letting the shoulders internally rotate. We have external rotation. And we're not letting our chin come forward. We're pulling up and back. Nice job, everybody. Good, we're gonna do it one more time. But this time, we'll keep the block between the thighs and we're gonna work into a little side plank, okay? So hands, we're gonna come on the ground. Elbows in. You know, when we exhale, press up the plank. Separate the shoulder blades. Keep squeezing the block between your thighs. Drop the weight onto your right hand. So we exhale, you're rolling over onto the side of your right foot, and then you're gonna sweep the left arm up. We're pressing the ground away, we're lifting the hips. Stack the shoulders. This is too much, remove the block. Come down onto your right knee. Good, back home. Change sides. Breathe, lift the hips. Back home, gently release. Walk the hands back, lock still between the thighs, hands to the lower lumbar, shoulder blades together, bend at your elbows, press your thigh bones forward, pelvis forward, lift your heart. Do a gentle back bend. Tells also stretch out the psoas and the core. Good, slowly come up. And then let's make our way up to standing, okay? Take your time when you do this. Hands down, tuck the toes under, walk the hands back, lift the knees up, press back to those heels to stretch out that plantar fascia just a little bit more, okay? Walk the hands back closer to the feet. Now the heels come down, feet are square, roll the thighs in and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders down, boom. We're open. Nice work. Okay, so we're gonna come to the front or near the front of the mat and have your blocks available on either side of your feet. We're gonna first work right into a little bit of eagle, all right? So we're gonna drop weight onto our left foot. 
You want to keep the hips square so you can always practice this video, but also maybe have a mirror close by so you can see yourself in a mirror. We're going to lift the right leg up. You're going to adduct the leg. So you're going to squeeze them together. So you're going to take the upper hamstring there on that right side and put it over the left thigh. Keep the hips square. The block is on the outside of that left foot if you need it for support. Arms you can go out to our T position. Now as we exhale, you're going to take your left arm over your right arm. Okay, we're trying to go palms together, and look around the arms here, palms together, but if you can't do that, you're gonna extend the left arm or give yourself a hug, okay? Adduct the arms as much as you can, adduct the legs, and then lift the arms up, shoulders down, and then squat. And breathe. Don't look around your arms like I'm doing. I'm just doing that to talk to you guys, all right? You wanna look right at the hands. Really squeeze the arms, squeeze the legs. Keep the hips square, keep breathing. Drop more weight on your heel. Zip up your core. Then slowly power up and release. Good, shake it off if you need to. And we're changing sides, okay? Weight's falling. Over onto the right foot. Keep the hips square. Left leg up, it adducts. Use your block if you need, or you can wrap that right foot around the calf. I'm sorry, your left foot around the calf. Arms back up. This time, right arm over left arm. Shoulder blades down. Stay here or squat. Breathe. And then slowly come up. And release. Good. Check it off if you need to. Awesome job, guys. Okay. We're gonna work into a little bit of a flying warrior three here. So I'll actually turn to the side, show you guys from here. So we're still at the front of the mat. We're gonna drop the weight onto our right foot here. Hands on the hips for a moment. Lift your chest, drop the tailbone, zip up your core. Inhale, I want you to bring your left knee up towards the chest. Just get your balance, keep your hips square. Then you can take the arms out to a T position or arms alongside your body. As we exhale, fly the left leg back. Keep that left foot dorsiflexed. Engage the hamstring, glutes. Keep the right toes pointing towards the ground. Lift the chest up. And then inhale, come back up. Left leg up. Exhale, fly it back. Inhale up, exhale, fly it back, up, back, you have this one, one more after this, up, back, Come up, and release. Whew, shake it off. And we'll chain sides, okay? So weight's falling onto our left foot now. Lift the chest up, drop the tailbone. Hands on hips, alongside your body. T position if you want. Then inhale, we'll lift the right leg up. And then exhale, fly it back. Keep the thighs squeezing in, right toes are pointing towards the ground. Inhale up. Zip up the core and back.
up. Back. Two more. Up. Back. Last one. Lift that left thigh muscle. Right hand's in the gauge, so it's the glute. Lift the chest. Good, come up. And release. Good job. Whew. Nice work there. Good work. Come down. To the mat. Let's bring the right leg forward. Take a moment. Bend into the knee. Lift your chest up. Hands on the blocks. Come back into a half split. Pause as you wave the torso up. Keep that right foot dorsiflexed, and then see if you can go a little bit deeper. Now, you're also more than welcome to go further back on this one. Some of us may take a block and go underneath that right hamstring or the glute and fall back, but keep your hips square. Keep the right foot dorsiflexed, and then you can come forward. That's where maybe you need a blanket to go underneath your left foot. Could help you out. You could even use your block over that right foot, around the ball of the foot, dorsiflex a little bit more, you get more stretch for your calf too. Shoulder width down your back. Keep the hips square. Good, slowly come up. Go back to downward facing dog, we'll chain sides, okay? Pedal the feet a little bit. And then we'll lift, leg up, and step it forward, and then come down onto the right knee. Make sure you have a straight line from right toes to ankle to hip. To lift the chest up, inhale, exhale, come on back, half splits. Again, you can hold right here, taking the torso in. Maybe you have a micro bend in that left knee to support the hamstring. If you want to take a block, Underneath that left hamstring or glute, you can, but just keep your hips square, okay? Keep that left foot dorsiflexed. Then you come forward. You want to block around that left foot. Go ahead, you have the balls of the foot to get more stretch for the calf. Shoulder blades down, you're breathing. Good, last breath. And then slowly release on out. Then step right back to table, open the thighs, come back to child's pose, and release. Slowly come up, and then make your way onto your back for relaxation. Hmm. Sustain relaxation for at least a good three minutes. Try to even push it to five to let your body recover, your mind recover from this little balancing act that we performed today. Thanks for tuning in. You guys create a great one. We'll see you soon. Namaste.